Hey guys, this is Allie with Tippy, and today we are going to look at BirdBrain for Twitter. Um, this is basically an app that will aggregate all of your Twitter statistics into one place. Um, so be the type of person that wants to see how many followers you're getting, how many you're losing, um, when you're losing them, this is probably a good app for you. Um, when you load it, it'll ask you to log in here, so you log into your Twitter account. And then these are my latest statistics. It's showing how many people I'm following, how many follow me, how many updates I have, how many retweets I have, and how many blocked people I have. And most, I think everything that I have blocked is like spam bots. Um, if I get like automated spam things, I'll block that. Um, if you click here on the followers tab, it shows today's date, new followers, who quit following me today. Um, the next date shows what followers I got that day, who quit following me that day, and so on. So you can kind of see the trend. Um, if you go back to the summary tab, you can flick through these pages and it shows um, the latest, which is now, compared to 24 hours ago. So for following, it shows that I started following one more person. Um, I had 44 updates today, and it shows that I gained 4 followers and lost 4 followers. So, blocked, didn't change, um, etc. And then, you can flick again, 7 days ago, and it shows that I started following 2, minus 1, you get the idea, and it aggregates, and it actually goes, I believe it'll show 6 months back. Um, here's the problem, and I, I guess I can see, I guess it's not a problem. But one downside is the first time you log into this app, it will only show your latest. Um, then 24 hours later, it'll start comparing that. So for me, I only installed this app maybe, I don't know, um, a week ago. So for 14 days ago, you see there's no really there's really no information here. One thing I did notice is the mentions don't seem to work and we'll see if we can get it to do it but when I go to the mentions thing here and try to load it it's been giving me an error so I kinda knocked off half a star for that because I don't really know what this is um, what this is doing but it just it either shows up blank or it gives me an error most of the time when I try to refresh it it just gives me like an error 501 or something similar to that and it won't load the mentions tab which is down here Oh. That's actually the first time it's ever loaded for me. Um, I've tried it several times, so I don't know, maybe it was a bug, maybe it just didn't like me, I'm not sure, but um, that's actually the first time that's ever loaded for me. It's always been blank. So let's see if that followed through to summary, and it did. So, huh. yeah, I was probably going to say this was three and a half stars, but I would say since that feature actually does work, um, probably around four. Um, it would be nice to see push notifications in here. Um, I get Twitter emails right now when someone starts following me. If it could send me notifications when someone starts following me, that would be awesome. It would probably uh, reduce email clutter for me. Um, I don't really care about push notifications from people stop following me. Um, some people might care about that or like to see that. I just don't know. If you have a ton of followers, that might you know be a big battery drain, so maybe that was a concern. Um, down here you have, we already looked at the followers tab following. So it shows who I started, who I unfollowed, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I do that every once in a while. I'll go through my Twitter list and you know clean out my feed. Um, people that don't use it anymore, haven't posted updates, stuff like that. Um, we already looked at the mentions tab. And it shows up here the number. I'm not really sure. Oh, with the date, it looks like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Um, it shows, I don't think you are. Like for August 5th, it shows that as of that date, I had 789 mentions of me. As of August 6th, it shows 793. So it shows you as of that day how many mentions you had, which is pretty cool. And then you can just pull it down to refresh it again. Um, I'm surprised that worked. I've been trying it all week. Um, under more, you have retweeted followers list, non-reciprocal followers, following list, non-reciprocal following, blocked, go to user, etc. Um, so like non-reciprocal followers would be obviously people that follow me that I don't follow. And then same thing here. 
Um, these would all be people. And at first it shows a number. It takes a minute to refresh this, and it only really does it once. I'm assuming that's your, uh, everyone's assigned like a Twitter ID when they first sign up. I think it's the order in which people signed up to Twitter. And then it'll actually load names and alphabetize. So non-reciprocal following. These are the people that I'm following that are not following me. So um, overall, pretty cool app if you're looking for something to maybe monitor your Twitter more closely. Um, I'd recommend it. Questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks, guys.